This video is to show you how to run the algorithm generator 2.0 and here it is as AG20. So I double click it and your first menu comes up and so we will select one for CASA knot. So I hit one and enter and it asks how many parts and bytes do you wish to have in this knot? We will do a five part, four byte knot. And then it asks if you want to save to the file. We will say yes and hit enter. And there's a three second delay for it to come up. There's the file. So this is the run list to tie the five part four byte casa knot. Let's go back to our th uh, the algorithm generator page and we hit R to run again. It brings us back to the menu and we want to tie a standard two pass knot standard means it's tied with tied by tying casa knots together so we're going to hit two and we'll hit enter we want to do a standard herringbone knot so we select one and hit enter it wants to know how many parts and bytes do you wish in the primary knot well, we've already selected that our primary knot is going to be a five part four byte casa knot. So we'll hit five, four. And we'll hit yes. So it saves it to a file. Now, when it comes up, we'll slide this over here. Okay, to tie. So the primary knot was the five, four. And here's the run list for it. Now whatever the last knot is, which on this one it's the second knot, is a five four part four byte casa knot. This is the run list to tie this five four inside of the primary knot. And uh, let's talk about this heading. It's a ten part because it's two five four. So two fives make ten. It's eight total bytes it's the primary knot had four bytes so four and four is eight it's two pass because there's two knots tied together it's standard because it's two casa knots tied together it's a herringbone and it's also a herringbone interweave this FLP is follow left of primary knot so we're gonna go on the left hand side of the standing end of the primary knot. The X is the number of parts between the inside byte boundaries. On a casa knot, you've only got one set of byte boundaries. On a herringbone, you've only got one set of byte boundaries. So the number of parts is equal to the total number of parts in the knot. Let's go back up here. And we'll press R to get back to the main menu. This time, let's select 3 for a standard 3-pass knot. So we'll hit 3, and we'll hit Enter. We'll go back to our standard herringbone. So we select 1, and it's how many parts and bytes do you wish in the primary knot? We've already selected our primary knot, so it's a 5-4. And we say yes to uh, have it go to the screen. Okay, so I click this to make it on front. I click this to get it on front, and then I move it over. Okay, now to tie this knot, which is a 15 total part, 12 total byte, 3 pass, standard herringbone knot, and we follow the right 
of the second knot. So we're going to follow the right hand side of the standing end of this second interweave. And x equals 15 because there's still only one set of bite boundaries on each side. And so the total number of parts is between the bite boundaries. Our primary knot was our 5-4 that we had the run list over here. Our second knot was a 5-4, and here's the run list for it. And the third knot is a 5-4, and this is the run list to tie it. And if you wanted to save any one of these, you can hit the file and save. You just hit save as and or if you wanted to print, you could print it. But that will explain how to do the Casa Knot, a two pass herringbone, and then a three pass. And to get out of this screen, you can either just hit the X or you can hit Q to quit and it tells you to hit anything to continue. I hope that you've enjoyed this and I hope you will try to tie a three pass herringbone knot. Thank you for watching.